this video I'm going to show you how I made these little strawberry cookies with some little hearts inside of them. So stay tuned and I will show you how. Here are the things that I used. A strawberry cookie cutter, leaf green and red fruit coloring by Wilton, and some white roll icing. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is have a tip number two in your red. And I have here some white in a tip 1.5, but you can use a 1 or a 0 if you have that on hand. So I have those two ready. And I'm going to go ahead and start at the top. And it's just pretty much fill the entire strawberry cutout. And then when you get here, just bring it down into like, like a W or just like some peaks. And just fill it in. Now you're going to have to put those um, white dots in the center. So you have to work really quick to get this icing spread out. You don't want this icing to dry. So go ahead and grab your white and do as many little polka dots as you like again working quickly okay then you grab a tool or a toothpick you can find these uh, tools at your hobby store they're usually in the area where the clay art is at or you can go online. I found one on eBay. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like $5 or something like that, including the shipping. Just um, search up needle tool. And it should come up. All right, that's it. See how quickly that was? You just drag um, your uh, tool through the red part right above the, the polka dot. Um, don't put it inside the white dot right above it and then just drag it down. I'm going to do it one more time because I did do that a bit too fast probably. And I probably didn't explain it um, in time. I just did it. So, so I'm going to do it one more time. Because this is going to be probably a quick video since it's a small cookie. I'll just do a little replay on that. And then go ahead with your white, your little polka dots, and then with your tool, just oops, I put a little piece of dry icing on there. And then with your tool, go right above it right above the polka dot and then just drag it right through the circle right above it and drag through it don't do this here do above it right above it and then just bring it down once you do a few of them you'll get the hang of it you'll go right through them really quick And then make sure you clean the tip of your tool or your toothpick so you don't drag any um, white on top of your red. So that's about it. So um, I'm going to give this some time to crust a bit before I go in with my green. So I'm going to finish up the rest and then we'll continue on. Alright guys, so now we're going to continue on to the leaf, the stem part. I have here a tip 66 by Wilton in the green and a little bit of a thick consistency. So what I'm going to do is just kind of squeeze and kind of do a little ripple effect. Just like that. And I find that I can do about four of them at the top. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the rest and I'm going to give this about five minutes to grab a crust so I can do about three of them here at the bottom. That way um, they don't kind of 
uh, melt into each other because um, the icing that I made is in a thick consistency but it's still um, soft enough so I don't have to like push really hard or squeeze really hard to to pipe it out and so um, it's still very moist um, as I don't know if you can see that it's still very shiny and moist so if I put too many of them it'll kind of clump up together and um, I, w I want them to actually look like a bunch and um, I want to avoid that um, that clumpiness to it so I'm gonna give it about five minutes I'm gonna finish up the rest and then I'm gonna come back to finish the bottom Alright guys, so I finished up the rest that I had here and I'm going to go and finish the bottom part here. And just same thing. And do like three of them down here. And you can do them any way that you like. Maybe you can have one in the center kind of sticking up. And that's about it. So I have here a few of them that I already did, as you can see. You can do them any kind that you like. You can do a lot of leaves. You can do one like in the center, like I said, sticking up. So you decide how you want to decorate your stem. And now I'm going to switch my tip to a number one. Same icing. And what I'm going to do is just make little vines you don't have to but um it's just a little bit of a decoration just a little bit of a swirl like this and pull again just an extra detail you don't have to so i'm just gonna do that to all of them just a couple little Vines sticking out like this so I'm gonna finish up the rest give them some time to dry so they can become a little mat put them all together and that's pretty much it all right guys that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it very easy little strawberries to make I think these will be perfect for a strawberry shortcake themed birthday party or if you have like a birthday party that you're making like fruits um, I've seen parties where they've had like vegetables and fruit uh, for someone that maybe likes to cook or something like that that's a chef or is graduating from um, culinary school or uh, anyone who likes strawberries or any birthday that's in spring or summer I think these would be uh, really nice to have at a summer party or a fourth of July you name it um, so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video I thank you so much for watching and staying tuned to all my videos that I've been uploading. And uh, give these a try. Very easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And have a good one.